with all the younger players as well to see, okay, what are they looking like? How long is it going to take them to go? Um, Ike Hilliard, the new wide receivers coach. I was going to bring this up. I didn't know if you wanted to talk about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah man. That's my guy, man. Former, you know, that's my guy from Buffalo, man. But, I mean, he was talking on Chase Claypool. He was talking about how he expects him to have a big role. But he also said that he expects them to struggle a little bit early, too, just because of how this offseason has went. But he said there isn't going to be an excuse with it at all. But I think this is going to be a great opportunity for that wide receiver room, and especially with Ike being the guy. It was interesting whenever I saw that quote because he said, you know, I, I think Claypool's going to play and mm-hmm. he's, you know, he's going to find a role in this offense, which is, it's kind of like a bold take whenever you're saying that for a mm-hmm. rookie right off the bat. At the same time, he was providing some context and saying like, it doesn't really matter where you're drafted. If Claypool was drafted in the second round compared to some of the other receivers that were drafted before him, as long as he does those things. And that's the thing. You see the quote that was on internet. It was yeah. like, he's going to, he's going to play. He's going to uh, have a rule, whatever it was. It was it was definitely buffered with him yes. saying beforehand. If you watch, look at the full quote, and this is something I don't normally do, I just look at I, the headline. I'm actually surprised by this right here, man. I know, I know, and uh, yeah, because what he said beforehand was basically like if he if he does the right things, if mm-hmm. he works hard, he'll and be able to get in. Mm-hmm. If he gets the opportunities and takes advantage yes. of the opportunities, then he'll then he'll be playing a lot. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if all those things happen, obviously anyone's yeah. gonna be playing a lot. <laughs> but they definitely hit you with the headline. Oh, he's gonna have a role like the. the <laughs> The only reason for me why well, I never had to worry about the headline because um you know I still do Steelers radio show and we changed our time limit, so when he was doing the audio, like the interview portion of it, we were actually getting that like having to broadcast it live on our show and stuff like that. So it was cool to be like, okay, I'm hearing this as it plays out. Okay, this is pretty cool. I like it so far. So far, so good. But man, when I think of just Ike in general and what he's gonna bring to that group. Dude, you got to think about it. He, he's a guy that's going to be able to relate to every single person in that room, whether you're Juju or whether you're Chase Claypool or even if you're uh, you're Deontay Johnson. You talk about a guy that, I mean, Ike, who came in as a seventh overall pick, played in New York, played in a Super Bowl. You talk about media attention. You talk about hype. For me, when I think of Juju, I think of all the attention surrounding him. I always think about how does he handle that? How does he still prepare and make sure he's good to go? Ike is a guy who's going to be able to help you firsthand with that. Then you think about a guy that's a big body guy just like chase claypool is it's like yeah i can teach you about hey man when it's big okay what you need to do how do you need to come in and out of your routes and stuff like that work ethic you talk about a guy like deontay johnson who's kind of on the brink of becoming a star he can help you with that as well man i think everything that he brings to the table from his playing experience is huge but then also i think of his coaching experience He's worked with the guy, Stevie Johnson in Buffalo, who's coming off with 3,000 yard seasons back to back. Juju only had two at the time. So he understands, okay, when you're coming into that, that realm of you're about to take that next step, how to help you in that. But he also coached Marquise Goodwin and Robert Woods during their rookie seasons as well. And we saw the careers that they've been able to blossom into from that too. So when I think of those younger players, your Chase, Clu- Chase Claypools, your Deontay Johnsons, your James Washingtons. You got to be excited because this guy has ha- he has a proven track record. You talked about with Terry. These guys have all been able to produce and all been able to grow under him. And from personal experiences with them, I mean, he's one of those coaches that you're going to relate to, that you're going to feel good talking with. It's not the father figure. It's more big brother type. So, I mean, in that and not like government big brother type. I know you feel sometimes <laughs> about that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but just like that older brother that you can really confide in who's been through some things, experienced success and failures, and that you can just overall trust and you're going to like to be around him. You're going to like coming to work and being in his room. So man, I'm excited about these receivers this year, man. No, I am too. I was yeah, I was interested to hear what you thought of that because it's it is definitely a bold headline that's just thrown Hell out there. Oh, it is absolutely. Which yeah, I saw, initially I saw that and was like, whoa, whoa, this, yeah. Because I mean, we know how everything's going with this mm-hmm. off season and just our concerns with the rookies and what they're yeah. going to be able to do right off the bat here. For him to say that, it was just like, whoa, is this right. Claypool this good? Like, are we? <laughs> Are we missing something? But he's then, only seen him in walkthroughs, but he's going, he's crowning him now. But then he was, he also brought up something like you can't teach this size and speed yeah. and all that type of stuff. So hey, he's he's high on him. So I'm he's he's building the hype train up. So oh, he definitely is. I'm man. not really opposed to it. I'm excited, man. Like I said, I think the receivers are definitely going to have a huge bounce back season. Obviously, with Ben coming back, that's going to play a major role in that. But I just think overall, it's a good situation. You remember last year, on top of them losing their quarterback, they lost their position coach in training camp. Yeah, yeah. Remember that. So it was a lot of variables that played into the receivers 
performance as a whole. So I think, man, having a guy like Ike, who's actually going to be a lot closer to them in age. I mean, Ike is, I'm, what, 42, I think? Yeah, 42. He's 10 years older than me. 42, 43 uh, age group. I mean, dude, I think this is going to be just a great situation for all of those guys throughout this season. So definitely a bounce back year for all of those guys, man. I'm excited, bro. Uh, yeah, I agree with 